Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials, as well as give a lot of baking business tips. And this is a super easy frosting recipe that hopefully you can just whip out whenever you need it. Now the base of this buttercream is just your typical American buttercream, which is going to be butter and confectioner sugar, or sometimes referred to as icing sugar or powdered sugar. And you're gonna whip those ingredients together and you generally need to add in some sort of liquid ingredient. Now most of the time this is going to be either milk or water, but in this case we're going to substitute that with using the strawberry puree. Now for this strawberry puree, I'm making sure not to add any additional sugars. As we know, American buttercream is incredibly sweet. So the more that we can tone that down, the better. I used frozen strawberries for this because that's what I had on hand, so you'll notice that I actually had to put it on the stove first before I could puree it. If you're using just regular fresh strawberries, then you don't need to put it on the stove. You can just go ahead and puree it and then put that puree directly into your American buttercream mixture. I did boil off the strawberry mixture just a little bit more just to get some of that water out, but you certainly don't have to do this. You can also use freeze-dried strawberries, or some people have even recommended using a strawberry jam, but the only issue with the strawberry jam is that it's going to make everything sweeter. And when you're using freeze-dried strawberries, that's a great option, but if you're like me, you generally probably don't have that on hand. I usually have frozen or fresh strawberries, which is exactly why I wanted to show you how to be able to utilize those ingredients to make this. Now you might have noticed that since I poured in that puree, things have significantly changed color. This is for a few reasons. I actually added in a little bit too much puree at first, which means that I had to go ahead and add in a little bit more butter and a little bit more icing sugar. So if you're noticing that things are a little bit too loose, then you definitely wanna add in one or both of those ingredients. Now you're probably wondering, how do I know which one to add in? Well, if you're noticing that it's kind of turning chalky and almost dry, you wanna stop adding in icing sugar and you wanna add in more butter. The butter is what really gives buttercream its hold. However, if you don't like a super buttery taste, then you might want to add in a little bit more icing sugar. I also wanted to make mention that you can substitute this for vegan butter, but you might not get the same type of hold that you're looking for, so just be aware of that. If you're using fresh strawberries, then I highly recommend that you have your butter at room temperature. This will just make sure that your icing comes together a lot more easily. But if you're starting with frozen strawberries and you want to get it going on the stove right away, then you don't really need to have room temperature butter because it's going to melt under that heat. Another little variation that I like to put on this buttercream and a lot of American buttercreams is I love adding in tea. I'm just doing this by cutting open tea bags and putting them in. I put approximately three in, but it really depends on how much of a tea-like punch you want. I love this because it again balances out that sweetness of the American buttercream. Now this recipe is pretty no fail, but if you are finding that things just aren't looking right, chances are you just haven't whipped your buttercream enough. Whipping up your buttercream for a sufficient amount of time is going to help give it that hold as well. So if you end up using this recipe on anything, please follow me at SD Bake Shop on Instagram where you can either send me a photo or tag me in a photo and I would love to feature it in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Speedy Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!